So we're here at the rodeo to check in on how our rodeo clowns are doing. And as you can see, being a rodeo clown can be a tough job. This clown's crutches are our recurring symbol for immunosuppression, a fitting reminder that this sketch is about a group of immunosuppressant drugs used to prevent organ transplant rejection. The drugs that we'll discuss in this sketch, cyclosporine, tecrolimus, cyrolimus, and basiliximab, work by inhibiting lymphocyte growth and replication. Let's start with the calcineurin inhibitors, cyclosporine and tecrolimus. These drugs prevent T cell activation by blocking IL-2 transcription, which is why we're going to represent them as rodeo characters who will be confronting this enraged bull with T-shaped horns. Two horns to help you recall IL-2. First, we'll have this cowgirl whipping her lasso up in the air like a cyclone, a reminder of cyclosporine. And for Tacrolimus, this cowboy is clutching a tac-like shield. Both cyclosporine and tacrolimus inhibit calcineurin, but in different ways. Cyclosporine binds to cyclophyllin, while tacrolimus binds to the FK506 binding protein. Cyclosporine and tacrolimus are used for transplant rejection prophylaxis. So we'll bring back a sketchy symbol, this transplanted tree receiving a bit of support. Keep in mind that cyclosporine also treats psoriasis and rheumatoid arthritis, so we'll add silvery scale elbow patches and red gloves to our cyclosporine cyclone yielding cowgirl. All right, looks like the next event is gearing up. But first, let's chat about the side effects of these calcineurin inhibitors. Cyclosporine and tacrolimus share many of the same side effects. For example, both drugs are highly nephrotoxic, hence this cracked kidney-shaped saddle hanging on the side of the arena. Let's also add a cracked brain helmet because both drugs are neurotoxic, though tacrolimus is more likely to cause severe neurologic side effects. Uh-oh. This bull does not look amused. It's actually blowing steam from its nostrils. A reminder to run. Run. Seriously, run. Also, that steam is a reminder that both cyclosporine and tacrolimus cause hypertension. Other side effects include hyperlipidemia, hyperuricemia, and diabetes mellitus due to insulin resistance, which is why this vendor has spilled his butter popcorn, lemonade, and candy. Note that tacrolimus causes more insulin resistance than cyclosporine. With cyclosporine, there's also the risk of gingival hyperplasia and hirsutism, which we've cheerfully depicted with bubble gum stuck all over this cowgirl's beard. All right, moving to the next event, we have a rodeo clown sire for Cyrolimus. And this sire is a matador because Cyrolimus is an mTOR inhibitor. Cyrolimus, also known as a rapamycin, binds to the FKBP, which thereby blocks T-cell activation and B-cell differentiation. From the side, this hot dog suit sorta, kinda, maybe looks like a kidney. A reminder that cyrolimus is given to patients who've had a kidney transplant to prevent rejection. Cyrolimus can also be used synergistically with cyclosporine. And finally, Cyrillimus is used in drug-eluting stents, so that's why the bottom of this wiener suit looks like a stent. I guess the casing must have, uh, withered away? Since we're on the subject of food, let's bring in the man in a frying pan suit to help you recall pancytopenia, an important adverse side effect of Cyrillimus. Cyrillimus can suppress bone marrow tissues, resulting in in pancytopenia, which is when there are too few RBCs, anemia, WBCs, leukopenia, and platelets, thrombocytopenia. But that's not all. Like the calcineurin inhibitors, cyrillimus also causes hyperlipidemia and insulin resistance. Okay, enough clowning around. It's time for the main event. Let's welcome this country music star. She's playing an antibody-shaped bass guitar to help you recall Basiliximab, a monoclonal antibody that blocks the IL-2 receptor. 
Like sirolimus, basiliximab also prevents renal transplant rejection, which is why our performer here is positioned near the sire matador, or wiener guy. It, you get the point. As far as side effects go, basiliximab causes hypertension, edema, which you can remember from those very stylish bell-bottom pants, and tremor. Ooh, that is a trembling note indeed. And on that note, time for a quick roundup before we leave this rodeo. The calcineurin inhibitors work by blocking T-cell activation. They include cyclosporine and tacrolimus, which are both used to prevent transplant rejection. Cyclosporine is also used for psoriasis and rheumatoid arthritis. Side effects for both drugs include nephrotoxicity, neurotoxicity, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, hyperuricemia, and diabetes mellitus. Cyclosporine is also associated with gingival hyperplasia and hirsutism. Cyrolimus is an mTOR inhibitor that also blocks T cell activation. It also prevents B cell differentiation and is used for renal transplant prophylaxis and in drug eluting stents. With sirolimus, watch out for pancytopenia from myelosuppression. And finally, basiliximab is a monoclonal antibody used to prevent renal transplant rejection. It causes hypertension, edema, and tremors. Um, anybody want to check on that frying pan guy? Looks a little dead pan. Oh.